Very interesting, Georgi, <laughs> indeed. And now, as I have uh, teased in before this interview, if we look at the newest figures provided by the National Wine Agency of Georgia, up to 19 million bottles of wine worth 44 million US dollars were exported from Georgia to 52 countries in the first quarter of 2021. 205 companies made wine exports in the first quarter. And what's more important, the growth trend of Georgian wine exports stands despite the pandemic. Here is our industry review for Georgian wine. How effectively did Georgia complete vintage in 2020 and to what extent does Georgian wine have the potential to establish itself on the global market? What will change in 2021 vintage and what are the priorities of Ministry of Agriculture for this year? Traditionally, let's crunch some numbers first. Up to 280,000 tons of grapes were processed in Georgia during the 2020 vintage, which is an outstanding record in the last three decades. The grapes were handed over to the vineries by 25,000 viticulturist farmers, whose revenues exceeded 310 million lari. In January-October 2020, 53,371,000 liters of wine were exported, amounting to $163,119,000. The rate of wine exported in this period is 4.8% less than the export made in the same period of 2019. In particular, in January-October 2019, 56,085,000 liters of wine was exported. During Wine Vintage 2020, 175,000 tons of Rkaziteli, 80,000 tons of Saperavi, 5,000 tons of Cajetian Green, 2,400 tons of Alexandroli and Mujuretuli, and grapes of other varieties were processed. As for the list of top five wine exporting countries in 2020, they look like this. Russia, Ukraine, China, Poland, and Kazakhstan. The Minister of Environmental Protection and Agriculture positively assesses the 30-year record yield, but notes that the 2020 vine vintage was difficult for the state. We understand that the demand has decreased not only in the Georgian industry, but also, in fact, in almost every leading country of winemaking. There were serious problems with processing, storing and harvesting grapes globally. As for Georgia, the vintage year 2020 was one of the toughest periods for the state because we had an immense sense of social responsibility that we constantly mentioned during the vintage. As for the representatives of large and small wineries, they said that 2020 was quite abundant in terms of yield, although the situation in the export and local markets still had a negative impact on the sector. We had an increase in export, to be exact, a 10-12% increase. However, we also experienced a drop of almost 90% in the domestic market due to the fact that we were completely dependent on tourism and the horeca sector. In 2020, Russia remained the leading export market with 32,742,000 liters exported out of Georgia. Market diversification is a problem that remains unresolved for companies this year as in previous years. I would say that this is absolutely necessary to diversify the markets. Georgia exports 100 million bottles and 65% of them go to one country as compared to the other 35. This proportion must change. Planning to work in potential strategic markets from year to year is important to change this proportion. Schuchman Wines, which combines wineries with cellars up to 120 hectares of vineyards and a wine complex with a yield up to 1,000 tons a year, says that Vintage 2020 helped advance not only wine companies, but also Cajeti as a region. Vintage 2020, despite the world pandemic, went really well. I think the results of 2020 Vintage will provide benefits and positive results in the field of agriculture as a whole. Consequently, quite large sums of money have been mobilized in Cajeti, up to 300 million lari, which is very important for the development of the region. Let's look at Raja. In the Raja region, 2,400 tons of Alexandroli and Mujuretuli were processed, which is the main base for the production of the famous appellation of origin wine, Khwanjgara. As for Rajuli wine, which unlike Cajetian wine is not very popular in the markets in terms of visibility, some small wineries do not consider Russia as the main export market. They do not even export any wine at all to Russia and said their only market in no less than the United States of America. 
The reason is the production of high quality wine. We have high quality wines and therefore we are looking for markets where they pay a high price for wines such such as uh, the American market. Red Dry Alexandrian exported by us in previous months and we continue to send more. Our Georgian wine keeps getting continuous positive feedback from the US. Wine and viticulture, unlike other sectors, still manages to maintain market positions and sets a record of more than 30 years as evidenced by specific figures. Although, like in other sectors, there is still a decline in percentages in local and global markets. As for 2021, the ministry has already started working to ensure the organized wine vintage in 2021 in order to improve the quality of Georgian wine within the framework of 2021 the control over the yield limit will be defined by the grape quality and the specifications of the varieties of origin will be tightened in addition it is planned to conduct the harvest based on data of the vineyard cadastre program and to introduce an electronic program for managing the queues at the time of grape delivery as Minister Davitashvili says, from 2021, the priority should be the quality of grapes and not the quantity. Hey guys, stay tuned, subscribe and follow us on BMG.